welcome guys okay welcome guys so i mean somehow like if you go online and uh, there's a uh, many uh calculus problem talking about this one so this okay so basically this one like sine to the power n dx uh pi over two and uh, equals to something blah, blah, blah. basically this formula okay so today uh i'm going to prove this formula Okay, so let's prove it. <coughs> okay, so basically this is okay. So let me first. Okay, so this is our goal. Okay, so the first thing I want to prove is that uh, this one is equals to cosine one. Okay, and uh, the proof is very simple. Just that x equals to pi over two minus y. Uh, so the first one is uh, minus pi over two. Uh, sorry. So this is y equals pi over two minus x, right? So this is zero, and this is a pi over two, and the sine in pi over two minus y, um, a negative y, <coughs> right? Basically, you just put x equals to zero. I put x equals uh, pi over two. You get uh, zero, and uh, yeah. So this is. Okay, so we get uh, 0 pi over 2 and cosine to and power y minus dy. So it's ah, right. So there's a minus here. So we can put put out the 0 pi over 2 cosine and y dy. Okay, and uh, then the final, the, you, what you need to do is just uh, flip, right? Flip it. Right, so that's it. Yeah, that's it. So basically, we proved the, the first two is the same. Okay, so finally, uh, all we need to know is that uh, prove the prove the parts of the of the uh, induction. Okay, so maybe we've proved one by one. So we we start from n equals to one. Right. So if n equals to one, right. So this is negative cosine x so pi over 2 0 so it's negative cosine pi over 2 plus cosine 0 so this is 0 and this is 1 so it's 1 okay and uh oh, and unequal so uh we have this formula okay so this formula tell us that the sine x dx by the way if you don't know how to prove it you should go to my previous video right so i have a previous video you can just type in my channel and type the reduction formula for sine x and i will have it for this one becomes this so it's also pi over two zero uh, pi over two zero and then this is pi over two zero and uh, sine n minus two x dx so n minus one n. okay and uh, since since okay so if n uh, okay so let's say if n minus one larger than okay so so you see uh this is pi over two right so the this pi over two term must be zero, and then for this term, uh, it, cosine zero is one, right? So if n minus one larger than zero, then basically these terms cancel, right? So then the, you you have the reduction formula. Right? N minus one and therefore the n minus two terms. Right, if n is larger than uh, uh larger or equals uh, sorry so n is larger than one okay so basically if n is one then the then the, you can that this formula give that that means you can add add two add two right so basically you will get get this formula if n is odd then the more than one right you can get two thirds four fifths da, da, da. and then if n is even then that means you need to start from zero right so you just put, put n equals to zero Right, if you put n equals zero, you just get this, you can skip pi over two, and then you use the this pi over two and keep using this formula. Okay, then that's it. So basically you only need you 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 only need to use this formula and this formula, then you get the answer. Okay, that's it. So I think I proved this formula and I will see you guys in the next videos. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.